Hey guys, welcome back to Motion RC. This is James, and today we're talking about the dip switch settings on the Admiral RX600 Stability Plus receiver and gyro. So you see here, when you get your Admiral receiver, um, you're gonna see everything on here. We're just talking about the dip switch ports here. There are six of them, and you see them labeled one, two, three, four, five, and six. For the purpose of this video, we are only worried about the dip switches from 4, 5, and 6 that correspond to J4, J5, and J6. The first three dip switches will be handled in a later video when we talk about correction direction because these are the switches which are going to help the gyro to help you uh, better correct your aileron, elevator, and rudder as you can see here. So J4, J5, and J6. Now. You'll see in our manual, we give you this layout, which is also on the back of the gyro. So if you see here, this is focused on your wing type. So J4, J5, and J6 on the other side, those dip switches will help you program which type of aircraft you're hoping to install this receiver gyro combination. So we have four options. You have normal, delta, V-tail, flapper on. So depending on your aircraft, a majority of aircrafts are gonna be normal. That's just your standard aileron, elevator, and rudder functions. But then a delta wing, that's when your ailerons are going to be acting also as your elevator. Um, your V-tail is going to be where your rudder is acting as your elevator in combination. So for a V-tail aircraft and then your flapper on aircraft. And then also, you could set them all to off. So now you see here, they have different modes, on, on, off. So if I wanted to set this up on a normal aircraft, they want J4, J5, and J6 to be on, on, and off. So when I flip the receiver over, you will see this side is on. So on is always gonna be to the left when the uh, receiver is orientated this way. Off is gonna be to the right. So right now, all the dip, dip switches are off. So if I wanted to set this up for a normal aircraft, so now you wanna do J4, J5, we need to be on because this told me so for a normal aircraft. So, lay it flat on the table, let's go four, push that forward, and five, push that forward. So now, in that orientation, you see these two dip switches are on, J6 is off. This will now function for a normal aircraft. One other example, let's say we wanted to do Delta, it's on, off, off. So I leave J4 where it is, because it's already on, and I switch it back uh, J5 to off. So now that would be set up for a Delta aircraft. So you've got to tell the gyro what kind of aircraft you are flying today and uh, you won't even need to say it in your transmitter. Leave your transmitter completely normal. Just let the gyro and the receiver do all the work. So that'll do it guys for the dip switches. I hope that better helps you. Check out the next videos in the series as we get more in depth into the Admiral RX600 Stability Plus gyro receiver.